Hi, I'm Lisa James, the producer and screenwriter of Defying Gravity. I think the whole underlying element about her, the quality that makes her stand out, she just felt really isolated from everyone and alone. And she was just trying to find someone that could understand her, and that's where Shore comes in. Something I, wanna tell. I like that it was wholesome in a sense, but also sort of dark. <laughs> You know, you're struggling to, to work and to just find happiness and and along comes all these different characters in your life. Keep the ear tight, little darling. See your lips for this skylock. It's about four misfits who are like escaping from various demons in their life or in the world and um, how they, they struggle against against conventions and social norms and, uh, and try to make their own life for themselves. There's a top secret government agency tracking my every move. They're probably watching us right now. So why are they watching your every move? Please, don't get them started. It's my ability to time travel. I, I can also project myself around the world and the solar system. Well, not my body, but just my spirit. Maybe you could teach me how to project myself out of this shithole diner. I want this movie to affect people in a positive way. I want them to come out of the movie theater reflecting on their own attitudes about tolerance, love, life, death, religion, acceptance, maybe even argue about it a little bit. You know, you shouldn't be so glib about other people's religions. You should consider that people have tried to find their greater spiritual being or being since man could scratch his balls. People need a protector. We need, we need hope. We need to know there's an afterlife. Why don't you just take death for what it is? A final exit. About a month ago, we held a private screening, and afterward, somebody came up to me and said, you've made something that's going to last beyond your lifetime. And that meant more to me than anything. That's what I set out to do. L'chaim. L'chaim! I think we got across all the things we wanted to. And uh, I think it hits home with people. Everyone's kind of screwed up a little bit. No one's really normal.